today I'm going to explain to you how to install the drop side on the baby cut. Uh, there's a few steps uh, in order to make installation as easy and effective as possible. This is the drop side. Uh, as you can see, the cot has already been assembled uh, to the point where it just needs the drop side to be installed. At this point, we need to make sure, in order to easily install the drop side, a few steps. The first step is to ensure, as you can see here, for the base, there are two bolts that you've already installed. Just ensure that these bolts are loose, but not so loose that it will fall down. Just loose enough so that it allows a little bit of a play, which allows in the drop side. So you need to loosen the two on this side here, and you need to loosen the two on this side here. So that also gives you that little bit of flex that allows you to install the drop side. The second step is your bolt head. For the drop side, you have to make sure that this is installed correctly, that, that there's a little lip flange Make sure the flange is flush with the inner steel. And the same for the other side. Make sure it's flush. Do not over tighten it. Um, over tightening it can cause it to pull on the drop side and uh, make the drop side a bit sticky. If that happens, you can just loosen that up again and that will be stuck. Third step is a little bit of petroleum jelly. You can apply this liberally onto the actual bolts and the pins on each side and then you can also apply the Vaseline which already has been applied to this into the actual plastic sliders on both sides and you can apply it as liberally as, as you want it obviously enhances the performance of the drop side when you do that Now to install the drop side Very, very simple. The key is the logo. So the logo needs to be facing outwards. Once you have that orientation, you will see the drop side has a little hole on the top. The bottom obviously looks different. You can see the more slider. This is the little hole. That hole is meant to marry up with the head bolt that you already uh, install on the top. So the way to install it, the easiest way, is to hold it with the badge on the outside and holding it evenly apart, slowly rotate it into a horizontal position, then bring it in from one side. I'm going to marry up the top hole with this bolt here and then fit it in and then slowly this is retracted so it fits into the groove and then I'm doing the other side doing exactly the same thing and then pull it so now they're both inside then what do you do? holding it evenly very slowly pull it towards you and then push it forward at this point it must run smoothly if it's not running smoothly you need to check the bolt and see you've not over tightened it or haven't tightened it enough that is actually pulling onto the drop side. But as you can see from here, now once it's running smoothly as that, then you slowly just release it and it will hold by itself. So it's in the actual run itself that cannot come off. Then over here, as you can see, there's a pin. So what we do is the pin needs to go into the slider here. So you push the one side until you get a click. And then you do the other side, just by getting your hand behind, you can feel the pin, you push on the pin until you get a click. Just have a visual check, and you can see that the pins are in the slider. At that point, you just need to raise the drop side. Now the drop side is fully installed. What you need to do now is you need to tighten, hand tighten those loose bolts at this point, you can make sure all your bolts are tightened on your cot because at this point, your cot is now completely assembled. Now you can test the drop side. Do not test the drop side until you've tightened your bolts because it could come off because the bolts need to Now you're ready to try it. Here at the bottom, in your hand, 
lift, push, drop side down. At this point, as you can see, pull this angle. 